me. Nanny. Fun. I'm thrilled to introduce a slight variation to the traditional column method for multiplying two two-digit numbers. This modification is designed to enhance clarity and reduce the likelihood of errors, making the multiplication process more intuitive and straightforward. Let's dive right into an example. 12 times 34. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. Then, instead of beginning with the ones place digit, we'll start with the tens place digit. This adjustment simplifies the mental workload and minimizes the chances of mistakes. So, we multiply 3 by 2, giving us 6. Next, we multiply 3 by 1, resulting in 3. Moving on to the other number, 4 multiplied by 2 equals 8. And 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 8 gives us 8. And 6 plus 4 is 10. We write down the 0 and carry over the 1. Adding the carried over 1 to 3, we get 4. Therefore, the product of 12 and 34 is 408. Let's delve into the rationale behind this method. Consider 34 as 30 plus 4. Now, we can express 12 times 34 as 12 times opening bracket, 30 plus 4, closing bracket. This expands into 12 times 30, plus 12 times 4. Calculating, we get 360 for 12 times 30, and 48 for 12 times 4. Adding these results together, 360 plus 48 equals 408. So this 408 equal to this part. This 360 equals to here. And 48 is here. And this explain why we need add these two number here in the column method. Into an example, 56 times 78. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 7 by 6, giving us 42. We write down the 2 and carry over the 4. Next, we multiply 7 by 5, resulting in 35. Adding the carried over 4 to 35, we get 39. Moving on to the other number, 8 multiplied by 6 equals 48. We write down the 8 and carry over the 4. And 8 multiplied by 5 is 40. Adding the carried over 4 to 40, we get 44. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 8 gives us 8. 2 plus 4 is 6, and 9 plus 4 is 13. We write down the 3 and carry over the 1. 3 plus 0 is 3. Adding the carried over 1 to 3, we get 4. Therefore, the product of 56 and 78 is 4368. Let's delve into the rationale behind this method. Consider 78 as 70 plus 8. Now, we can express 56 times 78 as 56 times opening bracket 70 plus 8 closing bracket. This expands into 56 times 70 plus 56 times 8. Calculating, we get 3920 for 56 times 70. And 448 for 56 times 8. Adding these results together, 3920 plus 448 equals 4368. So this 4368 equal to this part. This 3920 equals to here. And 448 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Into an example, 98 times 25. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 2 by 8, giving us 16. We write down the 6 and carry over the 1. Next, we multiply 2 by 9, resulting in 18. Adding the carried over 1 to 18, we get 19. Moving on to the other number, 
and 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. We write down the 0 and carry over the 4. Next, we multiply 5 by 9, resulting in 45 and adding the carried over 4 to 45, we get 49. Now, we add these two sets of products, adding 0 and 0 gives us 0. 6 plus 9 is 15, we write down the 5 and carry over the 1. And 9 plus 4 is 13, and adding the carried over 1 to 13, we get 14. We write down the 4 and carry over the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And adding the carried over 1 to 1, we get 2. Therefore, the product of 98 and 25 is 2450. Let's delve into the rationale behind this method. Consider 25 as 20 plus 5. Now, we can express 98 times 25 as 98 times opening bracket 20 plus 5 closing bracket. This expands into 98 times 20 plus 98 times 5. Calculating, we get 1960 for 98 times 20, and 490 for 98 times 5. Adding these results together, 1960 plus 490 equals 2450. So this 2450 equal to this part. This 1960 equals to here. And 490 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Into an example, 347 times 65. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 6 by 7, giving us 42. We write down the 2 and carry over the 4. Next, we multiply 6 by 4, resulting in 24. Adding the carried over 4 to 24, we get 28. We write down the 8 and carry over the 2 and 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. And adding the carried over 2 to 18, we get 20. Moving on to the other number, and 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. We write down the 5 and carry over the 3. Next, we multiply 5 by 4, resulting in 20. And adding the carried over 3 to 20, we get 23. We write down the 3 and carry over the 2. 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 and adding the carried over 2 to 15, we get 17. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 5 gives us 5. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 8 plus 7 is 15. We write down the 5 and carry over the 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, and adding the carried over 1 to 1, we get 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. Therefore, the product of 347 and 65 is 22,555. Let's delve into the rationale behind this method. Consider 65 as 60 plus 5. Now, we can express 347 times 65 as 347 times opening bracket 60 plus 5 closing bracket. This expands into 347 times 60 plus 347 times 5. Calculating, we get 20,820 for 347 times 60 and 1735 for 347 times 5. Adding these results together, 20,820 plus 1735 equals 22,555. So this 22,555 equal to this part. This 20,820 equals to here, and 1735 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon, to get new video updates. See you in the next video.